back in Italy of old, when men were brave and bold and Columbus had just sailed across the seas. Ladies from Verona and gentlemen from Bologna would place lutes and mandolins across their knees. They had lots of lutes and lyres, they didn't use amplifiers. It was a civil age. <clears throat> Violins and cellos were played by maids and fellows. And composers like Vivaldi were the rage. The year was 1550, and orchestras were nifty, and violinists dearly loved to bone notes. But the ladies and their fellows on their violins and cellos couldn't reach the low notes. So one Gaspero de Salo did his intuition follow and sit out to build a giant violin. The concept was outrageous, nonetheless contagious. And so inspired, he did begin. 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 He whittled and he glued. He boiled and he brewed. He varnished, chipped and chiseled, bent and treated. He worked with great endeavor and get discouraged never until one day he found the task completed. Yes, one day he was through and he brought it out to view. A violin like none had seen before. Its tone was rich and deep, right down where the fishies sleep and all the depth it added to the score. To the score. People looked at it in awe and they wondered what they saw and they thought poor Gasparo had lost his mind. The man could not be serious. The man must be delirious. He started to unwind. Oh, Gasparo faced the facts. No one's going to play that axe. It's too heavy. It's too big. It's too clumsy. It's too large. You're going to need a barge to get it to the gig. To get it to the gig. And while its sound is quite profound, just to lug the thing around is going to be a nightmare in logistics. The only willing players will be drunken dragon slayers, gladiators, flagellators, and sadistics. Then the local folks started making up bass jokes. Oh, it had to happen, don't you know? New jokes began to hatch like, hey, buddy, got a match. Or you should have taken up the piccolo. But Gasparo was no faker, but a real fine violin maker. He was no fraud or public menace. So he just kept on smiling as he watched his giant violin soon become the rage of Rome and Venice. And here we are today, many centuries away, and Gasparo's bass violin has made it through. You can pluck or you can bow notes, but you still gotta have those low notes. And thanks to Gasparo, we do. Gasparo to Salo, here's to you. Gasparo, I thank you. <laughs>